So the issue is really what is the role we as computer scientists play in the coming years. Also what is our relationship to other sciences. Uh, what is our role as a university? Basically, computer science matters because it's no longer about a computer, but it's basically about large-scale socio-technical systems that are out there and expand and change. I mean, if we look at job statistics, it's literally 80 to 90% of all jobs, hundreds of thousands of jobs in Europe and in the United States require computer science skills. The world stock markets with all the, with all the trading bots there are an achievement of economic research. Uh, we see self-driving cars soon and they are an achievement of Google. All this is uh, informatics contributions. All we know is that this is computer science research, but it is not attributed to computer science. Why, why is this? Should we care? The, and the problem of visibility is affecting us um, because you know, people don't understand that this science and technology is what drives the whole thing. And you need to continue to invest. It both creates and also solves problems. And it's like an eternal loop. Whenever you solve something, then you immediately create new challenges. It is a discipline that is as important as physics, as chemistry, as, uh, as mathematics. Nobody really needs to be able to calculate anymore these days, right? We all have, have, have our cell phones. We can uh, do any calculation uh, with the computer, with the cell phone, what, whatever. Nonetheless, nobody questions that it's important to teach math from first grade on. Because of uh, informatics is such a pervasive science, it is a shame that still, in most uh, educational programs in uh, all the countries, uh, uh, informatics is not taught. We are falling behind as we speak. I mean, many other countries have, have huge initiatives. I mean, Obama's computer science for all. The, the England has a computer science from fifth grade for the. Uh, in 2013, as I know. And that is what we really should be talking about. I don't hear anybody in Austria talking about that kind of topic. Uh, do you have some uh, concrete recommendations what should be done in Austria in order to catch up with other countries in that respect? Yes, completely change the curriculum from kindergarten on. The troubling thing is not the dangers of computer science. The troubling thing is that we educating pupils and students, without any chance of them, and you know, getting a grasp of what computer science is and what the potential dangers are. I may be a bit provocative. I would do it maybe the other way around, because if you focus too much on computer science, this will become a feedback cycle, and the kids will only deal with computer science. I find it a bit odd that we might have an argument now that there may be too much computer science in education, because I don't see any of it. Explaining what is behind this, you know, I, I think this, these are the fundamentals of education, you know, and, and, and if we fail this, you know, we are just failing with the next generation of people. We cannot have a rational society, and unfortunately, we, we see all these signs of, of, of going the way of, of a completely irrational society without teaching uh, computer science and rationality is a big part of it. Is there something we can do also from within the universities? It should be shown that the university is taking responsibility. And we, of course we can't do everything, but we, we should use our brains also to show that there is some rational responsibility behind. I have learned from Hans that they have community service learning, so they go out and teach the community what we have done for the refugees. Uh, shouldn't developers, innovators, or scientists in computer science to be forced to also think about the, the social or ethical problems um, they may create as they uh, invent new things? Uh, for example, the automated car of Google. Now you have an ethical problem in algorithms uh, to decide do you kill the driver? Do you kill the two persons on the left side or the three persons on the right side? As Carlo said, we cannot delegate that kind of responsibility to, oh, this is an ethical issue, leave it to the philosophers, or this is a social issue, leave it to the social scientists. This is also something that must be taken on 
by computer scientists in collaboration with others. We need a similar value system also for how to um, go along with this artifacts we built here. We do have generally meta-level goals that are typically in academic uh, educations called um, academic skills and academic attitude and they relate very much to the capability of critical thinking, uh, civilized conversation, argument to come to shared conclusions. Why is it the first thing we talk about should the, who takes the decision, you know, whether the person on the left or the person on the right is, is, is killed. Why aren't we actually talking about when a madman drives into a crowd of people, as it happened in Graz, that car makers are not obliged to put technology into their cars that could actually prevent that today? We should develop computer science further, but for the good and not for the worse. Yeah? And here, I guess we need, again, this this, this value chain, you know, I'm a business informatics person, so we need a value chain, but not only a business value, but also moral values. Isn't it true that um, uh, artificial intelligence is said to uh, surpass human intelligence? Personally, I would file that under the chapter of irrational fears. We don't have a, 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 like impossible expectation to computer science that of building a product that is going to react in all possible uh, scenarios. So in order to, uh, to, that, to teach or also to make industry uh, development more successful, people should be aware of it that we cannot build one product that is going to be... Much of this irrational fear of, 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 of computing, of automation, of robots, of ultimately you know, jobs going away and so on, is based basically on lack of knowledge. In fact, what we try, at least at the faculty of computer science uh, of the, at the TU Wien since the mid 80s that we uh, not only provide the best theoretical uh, and technical underpinnings of uh, computer science but we also try to uh, integrate this reflection, this critical reflection mechanism also in our curricula. The two faces of Janus will continue to stay with us. Software sciences also have errors if you don't understand all the consequences. That even if you try, even if you think we understand all consequences, we are humans, so we are going to miss one of the consequences. The Enlightenment project is not yet over, but we have to re-establish, redefine human rights, civil rights, the notion of privacy. So. This is not done once and for all, but has to be rethought, and that's a part of the role of computer science in today's uh, society. One thing I have learned in this discussion is this nearly permanent dichotomy. Uh, are these two words, these two faces, we have the, what Tom has said, we are working in the abstract, we can do everything, we are not limited by physical limits. But at the same time, we change the, the physical world. So this is somehow what, uh, what we are doing. Uh, thank you very much for your interest and your lively uh, discussion. Uh, also your participation and your questions. Thanks a lot uh, to all of the panel speakers.